Hey friends, uh, back at you again with another fun craft thing to do. Um, today I have a wood burning kit here set up with a bunch of my own wood pieces and uh, previous projects that I've worked on myself. So to get started, we'll discuss uh, this kit here comes with a bunch of different attachments so that you can do other projects with it, such as this piece here. This one is just like a little flat piece. You can use this to do image transfer onto wood, that kind of thing. There's also a soldering piece to solder metal together and different, uh, different little attachments so you can do different techniques on your wood burning. The one that I'm using today is a universal piece so you can do all sorts of things with it, whether it's lettering, shading, that kind of thing. So this here is one of the bigger pieces that I've been working on. I haven't touched it in a while because I tend to start projects and not finish them, <laughs> but that's fine. Eventually I'll finish it. These ones here are just little pieces that I've done as well, just for fun, that kind of thing. Um, these little wood cookies, usually you wanna have them about as thick as this one is because as soon as they start to get thinner, they warp and you don't want that. Um, these pieces are quite easy to obtain. You can usually get them anywhere around town, that kind of thing, and they're quite reasonably priced or free. I got mine for free because somebody I knew cut them for me. Um, to prepare, you want it to be a fairly smooth surface, and then you also want your wood to be untreated because you're going to be heating it up. The last thing you want is to be heating chemicals up. So. To get started, you can use a pencil to just draw on whatever image that you want to do for the day. I've already drawn on a couple images on these ones just to kind of skip a step. The cool part about drawing your image on first is if you don't like it, you can kind of try and erase it. If it isn't erased, just sand it right off. It'll come right off. So um, when using this kit, the stand is kind of flimsy and not exactly the safest, so keep it away from your pets and little ones, that kind of thing, because you can knock it over really easily. And this doesn't have a safety feature, so it doesn't shut off automatically, okay? It also has a heat setting here. I keep it on the highest one for wood burning, and I don't leave it unattended because I have dogs, so. They like to walk around and knock everything over <laughs> their big tails. Um, to get started, I've got these little pieces. I've already done some pencil drawings on them. As you can see here, there's one on that side and then one on that side. Um, to get going, make sure you don't have your finger on any of the metal part here because it gets quite hot and you will more than likely burn yourself. Um, yeah, basically, if you're going to be practicing or getting getting started with this, get yourself a practice piece so you have a general idea of, of how much pressure to put, put down when doing this and that kind of thing. These wood burning kits, as you can see, I've already started putting in some lines there. These wood burning kits are quite reasonably priced. They're about... 40 to 50 bucks, something in around there, depending on what, what one you get and that kind of thing. Uh, it, I think it's quite a good investment, definitely, because they are quite cheap. And I've had mine for a few years now, and it's definitely helped me make some cool things like this piece here that I haven't finished yet, but I will. I'll finish it soon enough. Um, so as you go, once you've been using this for a little while, obviously the heat comes out of it, so you want to let it heat, the tool heat back up, okay? But you can usually go and let her go for like a little bit here. So for this one, I've got, uh, I'm just doing a simple drawing here. I've got a sun and then mountains and some trees just to keep it simple with the straight lines because this tip works really well for doing straight lines. All right, so getting some mountains on the go, 
The cool part about doing this wood burning is your options for what kind of crafts you can do are quite endless. So with these wood burning cookies, I've put, um, I've done like calligraphy on them and I've sort of put them all side by side. So each one has a letter on it and made a sign. Or with these ones, you can also make Christmas ornaments. I know Christmas is well past, but you know, uh, keeping things interesting here. You can also use them for doing those image transfers or whichever. I haven't done too much experimenting with it yet, but I'd like to, but that could just mean future videos. So, all right. So it's quite quick going for, for this kind of work and it's also quite easy as well. So any, you don't have to be super artistic or super talented to do something like this. Uh, anybody can do it. It's just a matter of what you want to do, how much detail you want to put into it, and that kind of thing. It's a good way to, to make your own art for your own home so you can sort of decorate it yourself. So I've got, I've got my mountains started here as you can see. They're, go, they're getting going pretty good. I'm going to go through and do my sun. So going around the sun, nice and slow. There we go. So this piece here is, is almost done. I've got some trees at the bottom that I'm going to do. And then she'll be done. Just a quick little finish here. Once you're done with these as well, you can totally throw a stain on them or uh, the cool part about these cookies is they're flat. You can use them as drink coasters, whichever. I've made gift, set, gift sets of coasters before and given them out, um, which is really cool because you can personalize them for whoever it is you're giving them to and that kind of thing. So I'm just going through and doing my trees up here. Uh, there's still quite a bit of heat on this pen, so I don't need to stop and let her heat back up. Only if I've been working on it for quite a while, I may want to, you know, step away for a minute, let her heat back up. Right. So that's one little tree I've got going on there. Get going on my second tree. Super simple. Um, I'm not sure what the age limit on these kits are, but I've I've worked with kids on these uh, wood burning pens, and it seems that 11 is probably the youngest you'd want to go. Maybe 10 for using these kits. It's definitely something you can do with your kids. Something you can learn together. And that kind of thing. I'm all about teaching kids and doing art with, with them and with each other. I think art's a good way to express yourself. Definitely. All right. So I've got some more trees there. I'll throw a couple more in. Throw some more branches on these ones here. The top of the pen also get kind of, or tends to get quite hot as well, and it can be a little hard to not hold it down near the bottom. So try your best not to, so that way you're not burning your your hand there. All right. Working through. I'm almost done these trees here, and I'll give you a peek on what I've got going so far. So quick and quick and simple. I can also shade in the the sun there. Um, yeah, simple little wood burning project. Easy for you to learn that kind of thing. 
I'm gonna, I'll do, do the other side. I've just got a, like a little diamond on the other side that I'm gonna work on right now because that one's fairly straight lines as well, but I can show you a little bit of, of uh, shading technique in there so you have a general idea of how to do it. All right, getting that diamond going all the way across. Takes a little, I haven't done this in a little bit, but it, take, it takes a little bit of getting used to for uh, how much pressure you need to put that kind of thing, how long you want to hold it in that spot for. But the cool part, I guess, with wood burning is if you make a mistake and you just sand it off and start over. <laughs> Easy peasy, right? All right? Going through, doing this diamond. It's pretty quick. I'm a big fan of the traditional style tattoo flash art. I really like doing that kind of stuff. So, I'll give you a, a little peek of what this one's starting to look like here. Got the top of that diamond going. They're all straight lines, so they're all fairly simple with this tip to get going. All right. Making progress here. Nice and slow. Going through the sides. The anchor piece that's to my left here for the wood, I just went to Home Hardware and got them to cut me a piece of untreated wood. And that's where I went with that one. Hopefully one day I'm going to finish that one here soon. I'm more so afraid to wreck it now <laughs> because it took quite a long time to do with all the, the shading and, and detail, that kind of thing. All right, so I've got my diamond just about done here. Just so that's done, I'm just going to go through and do, do a little bit of... Uh, detail along the sides. And then I'll show you once it's done. But these ones are super quick to do. Uh, they make great little gifts around Christmas time or just thank you gifts, whichever, that kind of thing. They don't take very long to do either, so that's always nice. Just a quick little thing here. Just about. Getting the last of these little stars on the side here. And I'll give you a little preview. So just a quick little one there. We can throw some shading in as well, just so we have a, an idea of, of how we can do that shading, so you know. So with, when you do your shading, obviously the lighter touches you get, the lighter coloring you're going to get on your wood, right? So nice and nice light touches. Nice light. So I'll give you a quick little show of the little bit of shading that I've done on that one. And then I'll go through and do the other parts of this diamond. Now you can use like the side of, of your pen. You can get creative with it, that kind of thing. 
There's no rules. That's, I guess, the fun part of it. All right. Making some progress with the shading here. Nice light touch because we're not we're not making it really dark. Just on the on the edges of that diamond is where I, I want to get that a little bit of a darker shading. So going through nice light touches, starting a little heavier on the edges. Again, a reason, very reasonably priced craft to be doing because you can get all the, the wood for free. Basically, all these little pieces I got for free from somebody, so that was really nice. All right, getting this shading done. I'll show you in a second here once I get the top of the this diamond done. Super love the traditional flash. It's a lot of fun for me to draw. The cool part about this is just, you know, get creative with it and do, do what you want to do. Draw what you want to draw. That's probably why, that's a, it's a big reason why I didn't like art class in school. I hated being told, I hated being told what to do. <laughs> uh, I think art's a lot more fun when you can, you have a little more creative freedom to do what you want to do. All right. Just gonna, just about done shading this diamond here and I'll give you a quick peek. Just about. Finishing touches. Just about. Okay, so I got the shading done on that diamond. That's just a quick little one for you. Uh, super easy thing to do. Uh, I hope you enjoyed learning a new craft today and or maybe considering trying something new. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll talk to you guys soon.